Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Bing. Um, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've tried to film this like five times. The first time I forgot to hit record. The second time it was just bad angle. The audio was weird. And then the third time I had a video of myself playing in the background. So you heard two of me talking about completely different things. So it's been, it's been a ride. But hopefully this is the one that you will be seeing and hopefully this is the last time I have to attempt to make this video. I'm just going to update you. I've filmed this video or, or videos like this two times already, so original content. Um, but I just wanted to keep you updated on what animals I have, what new animals I've gotten, just kind of where we're at now before we start getting full-fledged into the swing of things. My small animal room. The first animals I'm going to show you are my guinea pigs, my pride and joy, and my piglets. you guys are going to be seeing is mashed potatoes my long-haired Syrian hamster he's my third hamster ever I'm absolutely in love with him and he's super fluffy and looks like mashed potatoes two male mice. They do not live together. They live in separate cages, but for the sake of this video, they're going to be next to each other in clips. Not like next to each other, but like their clips are going to be back to back because they're both the same animal. This one animal you haven't met. This is Mac. He's one of my male mice. I have two. They live separately, but he is super sweet and very active. He's hard to get clips of because he moves so much. <laughs> this is Prince Charming. He is another one of the male mice since I said I just had two. My hand's a little dirty from digging around in there, but he's also super friendly with male mice. They're social animals, but they'll fight with each other if you cage them together. So what I find best for them and their safety is I just keep them separate with a lot of enrichment in their cage. Here's all our female mice doing super well. I honestly, my sister knows each one of their names. I'm just trying. Okay, and now you get to see my amazing hedgehog, Peanut. She was actually a rescue. I got her off of Craigslist from a girl that could no longer take care of her. She's super sweet, but definitely a grumpy, shy hedgehog. But definitely her adorableness makes up for it. I've said definitely like 27 times, so that's cute. detour and look into the animals that are around the house with me all day long. So that's Sherlock the Ragdoll Cat, Jazzy the Doberman, Oxer the Australian Shepherd, and Cider the Coyote Chow Shetland Sheepdog thing. Sherlock. Hi buddy. That's Sherlock. He's our ragdoll. 
This is Cider. Cider, tell him about yourself. He's my coyote chow mix. You want to give a kiss? Oh, good boy. Oxer, do you want to say hi? This is Oxer, my Australian shepherd. Oxer, say hi. They pretend they're brothers. Cider's the annoying little brother. Oxer's a really smart, but oh, that was a fail. Big brother. <laughs> Stop growling at each other. Here's Jazzy. She's my Doberman. She looks very tiny right now and wants to be in bed because she's cold. Should we tuck her up? Here, let's tuck her up. to my room in my room we have all of the reptiles so the first reptile you will be seeing is my leopard gecko maleficent now the next reptile you'll be seeing is my hognose snake, Samanda. She's actually my first snake when I went to the reptile expo. I wasn't planning on getting a snake, but I absolutely fell in love with her. Samanda, she's grown quite a bit. We'll see if we can get her to stretch out a little bit. If you can see how much she's grown. My hands are so gross from digging around in the eco earth to find her, but she has grown so much. And she's literally still the sweetest steak. She eats, I feed her about every four to five days now because she's a little bit older. Um, and she is just the sweetest girl too. But she's about to get a meal tonight, so it's a good thing we got her out before then. The next animal you are seeing is my bearded dragon, Douglas. He was my first reptile ever. This is my bearded dragon, Douglas. He's a baby. I actually got him at a rescue, um, or not a rescue, I rescued him from a girl who had him in a cricket carrier, and he was the size of my pinky, so you can see he's grown quite a bit. I would still like to put a lot of weight on him and get him to grow more, but he eats well. I think he might just be growing a little bit slower because of the lack of vitamins in his past, but He's doing well now on a lot of calcium and stuff, so we don't get MBD or anything too crazy, but he's super friendly, loves baths, every once in a while enjoys some pinky mice, a lot of crickets, a lot of greens. We like turnip and mustard greens mainly, but he has so much personality, and I literally feel like he's an old man staring at me judging all my choices, so I think the name Douglas fits him perfectly. And then there's Sasha, she's my bull python, but you are not going to be seeing her today. I'll insert a little clip. She's actually in shed, so I don't want to be disturbing her when she's in shed because you shouldn't take snakes out when they're in shed, especially not for entertainment purposes. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of my fish tanks. I'll just zoom through all the cute little fish tanks that I have really quick. This is my new planta tank. It, I've had it for a couple months. It's honestly, the plants have grown, everything's thriving. There's a little bit of algae. Say hi to Juju. Hi, Juju. Um, there's a little algae, but that's just because I haven't been able to keep on up on water changes as much as I would like because of surgery and then getting into a car accident as soon as I was cleared. So I'm going to keep the lights off for, for like two days and do a couple water changes a little more frequently and a little more voluminous, I think. Just take more water out, like instead of um, a 15%, I'll probably do a 25 to 30% water change every five days for about three times and then we should be good to go. Okay, so the second beta is a female beta and she is actually right here, I believe, yep. Her name is Blue Jean, she's a big girl and she's super sweet. She has a little bit of nips on her fins from the tetras in her tank, so we had to actually move them out. Okay, this is Cosmo. Cosmo, get over here. Cosmo. He is gorgeous. Here. Yeah, this is Cosmo. Here are our goldfish. Hi, babies. They're super friendly. They always swim up to you. Hi. 
that's Big Al, that's Antonio, and we love them. Oh, hi Katie, that's me. <laughs> Hi guys, but yeah, they have a nice filter and here's the beta fish we got. Is it baby? This is Dragon. He is an interesting looking fish. He never grew like crazy fins or anything, but he's super sweet. He has a nice little tank. And yeah, that's pretty much it about him. Then there's Taquito, he's the last dog that got thrown out of a truck. And yeah, that's pretty much his story. You got thrown out of a truck and now he's here. This is Taquito. He's our dog that got thrown out of a truck that everyone was begging me to keep. And he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's the sweetest other times and he sleeps with me every night. And he looks so much better than he did before we got him, but he's super tired. So his eyes are kind of droopy and low right now. Oh, what Taquito. We have to talk about the goats, obviously. These are my pride and joy. I love them so much, so here's a couple clips of them. Hi, baby boy. Oh, you're such an angel. Hi, Snow White. And then to end on some of the cats. First is Zesty, the barn cat that we saved, and then Bridget, the rag doll that we got, and she's probably the prettiest cat ever, but Zesty definitely has a great personality. Here's Zesty. She's always in my sister's room. Hi, Zesty. She knows some tricks, so maybe later she'll come out and do them. But she likes to sleep and eat a lot. She has thyroid issues, and she was a stray, so she likes to eat way more than she needs already because she gets scared that she's not going to be able to eat again. But obviously, that's not the case. Sit, sit pretty. Good girl, sit pretty. Good girl. Oh, or just steal it from me. Okay, that's yours. Hi, Zesty, sit, sit pretty. So pretty, Zesty, good girl. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> this is B. she's like the prettiest cat ever. Hi, she doesn't like people too much, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a creature call out today to Priya's Fluffy Furballs. Um, thank you so much Priya for being so amazing and I appreciate you so much. Also, if you want to be in a creature call, make sure that you subscribe, tap that little notification bell to become part of the notification squad. If you're part of the notification squad, you are already nominated or <laughs> in the running for a creature call. -out. So yeah, just make sure you do that. I love every single one of you and I will see you next video. Bye!